What? 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 What do you mean? No, no, no. This is not possible. What? No, I'm not going out. No, I'm not going out there. No, I'm not going to say anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> the moment I was dead is late. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Guys, you're here! Yeah, yes, go, 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 go! Yes, they have arrived! <laughs> they are here! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Momenta Quartet.
Minnesota. What is this? No, you have to What? what? <laughs> you have to explain this! What is this woman? What happened? What? Okay. <laughs> they have just explained to me what happened. Well, well. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> well, they have just explained what happened. The thing is, <laughs> Well, <laughs> they just explained to me what happened. Yes, I know I told you this was going to be a string quartet concert. Well, that's what we were trying to do. <laughs> just... <Sorry. laughs> well, it's just that they had some difficulties getting here from their place. It all started this morning. <laughs> They were at their place, preparing for the concert. You have to know, they all live together. Yes. Well, let me tell you exactly what happened this morning and how they ended up performing this very peculiar, yet lively and inspiring concert. Please help us. With your imagination, we are going to be able to tell you no, better to perform for you exactly what happened today. Let's imagine going back to their home. This is their living room. Over here is a table. Here is the kitchen. And this is a couch. Imagine it. <laughs> when they woke up this morning, they didn't know what kind of adventures, or rather, misadventures, they were going to encounter. This was not at all an out-of-the-ordinary morning. This is Michael. He plays the cello. That is a cello, by the way. He hmm, is a little bit narrow-minded. He believes the world has to be in a certain kind of way, and that is his way. Hmm. He doesn't like people disagreeing with him, so he can get a little bit grumpy, hmm? but with a big heart. <laughs> he is very fatherly and very fond of everyone in the quartet. This is Stephanie. She plays a viola. That is a viola. She is highly productive and proud of it. She is very focused on whatever her mind is set on. <laughs> she hardly ever lets any distractions get in her way. She is very organized, and whenever order is needed inside the group, she is the one to step in. This is Emily Ann. She plays the violin. She is a very joyful girl. 
She's the happiest in the group. She's always smiling, even at the most adverse moments. Oh. She's always willing to aid anyone she considers in need of help. And she loves bananas, by the way. And this is Alex. He plays the violin too. <laughs> he is a little bit absent-minded. and the world amazes him. He gets a little bit distracted by the most insignificant stuff. Even if it doesn't seem like it, he is the one who's always aware of everything in the quartet. This is the Momenta Quartet. They live together and they play together. in this not out of the ordinary morning, they realized they were running late. Not too late, just a little late, but they didn't like it. So they prepared everything very fast so they could get to the concert on time. Oh. <laughs> so this takes us to the beginning of the story. The story of the mysterious disappearance of the Momenta Quartet. Four people, two violins, one viola, one cello, four bundles of music, and four music stands, as well as a small Italian car. <laughs> Thank you. 
They were on their way to the concert on the far side of the mountain. They were very cramped inside the car. Outside, it was raining cats and ducks. Michael, he was at the wheel. He is nearsighted and he was having a hard time driving while playing his cello. But this was his car and he is very stubborn. To get to the far side of the mountain, they needed to drive through a tunnel. Not a difficult task to achieve if you are not nearsighted, if there is no rain, and if you are not playing a cello. To make this a little more tricky, on the field next to the road, there was a row of huge drain pipes. Michael, he didn't listen to his friends, so he took the wrong turn and drove into a pipeline. Look, Michael, they all cried. Schwader Schwinger Schwinger Schrank. Calm down, said Michael firmly. I know where I'm going, but did he? When they were inside the pipeline, a huge crane picked it up to lower it into the newly dug trench. Crack a dang sank a sunk. Try to shrank it about a doop a doop a doop a dank a pump. Calm down, said Michael. This is the new Midtown Tunnel elevator. I read about it in the paper. And this is the lower level. <laughs> Just like the subway, soon we will be through the mountain. None of the others were too sure about that. At last, they came into an open excavation where a new treatment plant was going to be built. Try to swing. Here we are, said Michael. He switched off the car, turned off the lights, and got out of the car, leaving his cello inside. Everything was dark inside the excavation hole. Everyone was looking at Michael, asking where they were. But even Michael did not know. The small car without the lights on, looked like a boulder dug out of the ground, all covered with cement from their driving inside the pipeline.
suddenly a front loader scooped the car up with a lot of rocks and boulders. <laughs> and dumped it into a truck. My car! cried Michael. My cello, said Michael in disbelief, remembering his cello was inside the car. There was nothing he could do. He imagined the cello playing by itself, saying goodbye. Then he imagined himself playing it farewell. He imagined putting away his cello, 
for the last time in silence. After such a loss, a musician can only hear silence. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you, eh? <laughs> well, sorry I didn't see the car either, but you weren't supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, I wish I could retrieve the car, but there is no way. It's all covered in all those rocks and boulders. But, good Jimmy over there, well, he retrieved these car parts. And, uh, well, we guessed you would have wanted them as a souvenir or something. I don't know. I also happen to have these mallets. In case any, I don't know, professional musicians happen to pass by. <laughs> well, hope you enjoy. Goodbye. Guys, 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 uh, well, I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I have to keep working, you know? Um, you're not supposed to be here. This is dangerous. It's that construction site, for God's sake. Well, just go, just leave. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
they don't have a car. What happened to the car? It broke. It broke. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't see it. I I, I forgot. <laughs> well, I guess over there is a road. A lot of trucks pass by. Yeah, I'm sure someone will be pleased to take you to the city and all. Now, just leave. Have a good one. <laughs> Stephanie took the lead. She was up front organizing. They all went to the road. Michael, he was so angry, he didn't even have words for it. Mm -hmm. Emily Ann, she was trying to cheer everyone up. <laughs> and Alex, well, he was amazed. He never imagined he would be in a place like this. <laughs> he was wondering what kind of adventures they were having next. Little did they know. a concert tonight. Well, such good luck of yours I happen to come by, huh? <laughs> I'm driving over the mountain, so I guess I'll be able to take you to the concert on time. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, I just hope you can get comfy back there with all the tires. Yeah. I'm taking all these used tires to the city. Well, get into the truck. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't mind sitting on a bunch of tires as long as he could get them to the city on time. Hold on! As soon as they settled into the load, Alex's violin got stuck in a tire. While they were struggling to set it free, the truck began climbing the mountain. Soon, all the tires began to slide. Suddenly, every tire was running down the hill, even the one with Alex's violin inside. It bounced, and bounced, and bounced. until it went down a manhole. So, they all went down the manhole. <laughs> no, <laughs> they all went down the manhole. 
No, yes, guys, you have to go. Go. Go, go down the Just don't let go down the mantle. Oh. <laughs> they all went down the manhole. Alex came last. He followed them for... How could he play without his precious vio... No. Tire Lynn. As soon as they catch the tire in, they realize the time for the concert was drawing near. Were they going to get to the concert on time? Was the question in all their minds. They were in the sewers now. Uh, so they needed to find a way out. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. They kept walking and walking and walking, looking for a way out. As soon as they found an exit, <gasps> they climbed up this other manhole. <laughs> well, it turned out that this other manhole led directly into prison. They were prisoners now. There was no chance they were going to get to the concert on time. Emily Ann thought. Now, the people, they are going to leave. There is no chance they are going to wait patiently on their seats for 10 to 20 years. They all are going to want their money back. But there was nothing they could do. What? What do you mean, the Momenta Quartet? No, you gotta be kidding. Oh, oh, it is you. Oh, wait a second. Is this the Momenta Quartet? Yeah! 
Really? Is this the Momentum Quartet? Yes! Oh my God! Have you ever listened to them? Yes! They are amazing musicians. You gotta know, I'm a great music lover. And, well, you are my favorite quartet. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I am the warden here. Yeah, the prison warden. And, well, I have been around for almost 50 years. So, I want you to get out of prison. Just release them. Release them immediately. Yeah, <laughs> take those jackets off. <laughs> oh, but first, you gotta give me your autograph, please. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Their autograph. I'm going to put this here for everyone to see it. <laughs> well, oh, you're going to need a ride, don't you? Well, this is the only ride available we've, we've got. Yes, it is the refrigerator truck that delivers our food. Mm. It's going back to the city. Please, please, get into the truck, yeah. What they didn't know was that they were going to ride in the back of the truck, sitting alongside the boxes and bags of frozen food. It was getting freezing back there. It was so cold, their faces quickly turned as blue as blueberries. <laughs> Emily Ann, she was so cold, she carelessly placed her violin aside alongside the peas and beans oh, to warm up a little bit. <laughs> It was freezing back there. They couldn't stand it anymore, so they began banging the walls of the truck so someone can get them out of there. Emily Ann didn't want to get out. It was not that she was having a blast. What was keeping her inside were the three bounds 
of frozen beans and peas frozen onto her violin. Her violin was no longer a violin. It was now a beanolin. As soon as they realized they were warming up a little bit and after Emily Ann got used to the fact that her violin was now a binolin, they realized they were dropped off in the midst of a traveling circus. <laughs> and they were ready to leave and it so happened they were going to pass very near this concert venue, right across the corner. So they got really excited and jumped onto the first circus wagon they were offered. <laughs> oh la la, oh la la, so you are traveling with me. <laughs> Hello, I am Madame Fifi. Hello. And this is my boa, my serpent. She is Caroline. Say hello to Caroline, everybody. Hello. Well, we are leaving now. Fasten your seatbelts. Uh. Oh, she, well, she's the star of the show. Look at her. She's very beautiful. She's the best. You have to know I'm very pleased to have you here. Oh, oui, oui. Oh, I like having a quartet with me. It's so very elegant. Oui, oui. Oh, and look at Caroline. She's also happy. Look at her smile. She's smiling. Oh, oui. Oh, look, she's so beautiful. Her long, slim body. Oh. So beautiful, she's the very best. <laughs> while they were talking, well, while Madame Fifi was talking, the snake slithered away from Madame Fifi. Oh, it saw the viola. It loved the viola.
and it ate the viola. Oh, no, 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 look, look at what happened, oh, now your viola is in my snake's tummy, oh, no, look at this, she's quite misshapen, that's her blue, oh, oh, God, get out, get out, get out, I don't want to take you any further, oh, my God, my poor baby, oh, no, I don't want you anymore, take it, no, take it, oh, please, take it away from me, this is so hurtful, take it, oh, I'm going to have to find another number, oh, oh, you, you want to be my snake? Yes. Come, you're going to be my snake. <laughs> I'm going to train you, I'm going to be, no, you have two arms. No, you don't, oh, you don't look like a snake. Go sit, oh. I'm going to go and cry a lot. Goodbye, goodbye. Poor Stephanie, she had to take control. But look, listen at what she discovered she could do. This looked like the end of the Momenta Quartet. This was no longer a string quartet. There was no violins, there was no viola, and there was no cello. This looked more like a car door, tire lin, bino lin, and boa the braccio quartet. <laughs> this time, not even Emily Ann seemed cheerful. Oi. <sighs> they are living, they are sad. But at some point, Alex realized the music was very good. And he got their attention to the fact that they were actually liking it. <laughs> they were enjoying their new instrument, so they decided to come here to the concert, even though we were expecting a string quartet. Yes, they had to come. And they came, even if they had to run, because that's what they did, for they were very near this actual venue. And this, this takes us to the beginning of the story. <laughs> they were running late. We were waiting at them, and suddenly, a very peculiar, jet, joyful quartet entered through the door. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Momenta Quartet.
They thought they were going to give a great concert, and they did. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this concert and also the story of the mysterious disappearance of the Momenta Quartet. Thank you.